Hallelujah. I want to thank you for supporting the meeting. And for those of you that don't attend a church, make sure that you get in one of the churches that support the meeting. Because they're reaching out to your nation. So, hallelujah. We're going to be praying for everybody tonight. I hope you brought your list. If you don't have a list, make a list. Write down your greatest needs. And when we pray for you tonight, just drop it and let it hit the floor. We're going to be praying for all the pastors tonight. And also we're going to be giving the pastors a book. And that'll help you and your church. Then we're going to be praying for the terminally ill tonight. Hallelujah. Are you ready to get started? Yes, hallelujah. Let's turn to Mark 5.25. And we're going to read down through verse 34. Mark 5.25 through 34. Alors je lis Marc 5, 25 à 34. Car il y avait une femme atteinte d'une perte de sang depuis 12 ans. Elle avait beaucoup souffert entre les mains de plusieurs médecins. Elle avait dépensé tout ce qu'elle possédait et elle n'avait prouvé aucun soulagement. Mais elle était allée plutôt en environnement. Ayant entendu parler de Jésus, elle vint dans la foule par derrière et toucha son vêtement. Car elle disait, « Si je puis seulement toucher ses vêtements, je serai guéri. » Au même instant, la perte de sang s'arrêta et elle sentit dans son corps qu'elle était guérie de son mal. Jésus connut, connut aussitôt en lui-même qu'une force était sortie de lui. Et se retournant au milieu de la foule, il dit, « Qui a touché mes vêtements ?» Ses disciples lui disent, « Tu vois la foule qui te presse et tu dis, « Qui m'a touché ?» Et il regardait autour de lui pour voir celle qui avait fait cela. La femme, effrayée et tremblante, sachant ce qui s'était passé en elle, vint se jeter à ses pieds et lui dit toute la vérité. Mais Jésus lui dit, « Ma fille, ta foi t'a sauvé, va en paix et sois guéri de ton mal. This is a woman Ça, une femme that has an issue of blood. Qui a, uh, une perte de sang. Now the Bible says that the life is in the blood. La Bible dit que la vie est dans le sang. So sickness many times causes many issues in our life. Donc souvent la maladie provoque beaucoup de problèmes dans notre vie. This woman has had this blood issue for 12 years. She's tried everything that is at her disposal. She's not been able to get help. The Bible says she rather grew worse. I'm sure that her friends told her to try this and try that. But it comes to the point that she's tried everything in her life. And she has no more money. Sickness will drain you of God's blessing for your life. But even though the doctors could not help her, 
people trained in the medical field. Les gens qui étaient formés dans la médecine. They just told her we cannot help you. But how many of you know that when man gives up, God begins to move? Come on, there's nothing too hard for God. The doctors may turn you away. Your money may not bring you freedom. But God is greater than money. And he's greater than medical science. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. So for 12 long years, this woman's not only been sick, she's been separated from her family. She's unclean. She cannot touch her children. She can't interact with her husband. She can't go outside of her house. Because if she does, her neighbors will cry, unclean, unclean. And this woman suffers just like you and I with sickness and disease. Sickness and disease seems to isolate us from everybody else. Because even though we live in a house, nobody knows our struggle with our sickness but God. Come on, shout hallelujah. Man may not understand what we're going through. But Jesus is a high priest that can be touched with our infirmities. And I'm here to tell you tonight by the authority of Jesus Christ that just as he knew where she was he knew what she was going through. He was aware of her faith and her struggle. But Jesus did not just know about her. He responded to her. And that same Jesus is here tonight to respond to you and I to lift us up out of our loneliness and isolation to do for you and I what man cannot do. He is here to loose us from long-term effects of sickness and disease. Come on, shout hallelujah. He is not a respected person. If he will come to the rescue of a sinner, will he not come to the rescue of his people? And the answer is yes. Every time God will respond. He never withholds any good thing from us. And he's here tonight to end your struggle. Come on, your struggle. He's here tonight to bring it to an end. To bring the battle to an end. To loose you from your pain and your shackles. And to restore. Bring back everything that sickness has stolen. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, God is not here to do something halfway. God is here to bring us totally, victoriously through. Come on, shout hallelujah. Oh, come on, shout hallelujah. 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 He is here. He's here. 
because you and I have gathered in his name and I'm here tonight to tell you that nothing is impossible never ever doubt God never doubt your faith doubt your doubts but be strong in the Lord because he is faithful come on shout hallelujah now Jesus comes and he turns her battle into a testimony and that's what God's here to do tonight is to turn your battle into a testimony that is your gospel that is your story that is what Jesus did for you not what he did for someone else but what he did for you so as he touches you you will share your story your story is filled with faith and that faith will be heard by others and their miracle can be born come on Jesus came into the world to save sinners that word save means he come to free us from sin he come to prosper us he came to make us whole he came to heal us he came to restore us that's what salvation means so when Jesus comes to save the sinner he comes to heal them also and he's here tonight not only to save sinners but to heal the righteous come on shout hallelujah hallelujah Jesus came into the world not to destroy life he came into this world to save a life Jesus went all about Galilee laying hands on the sick casting out devils raising up the dead the cripples the blind he is the same today as he was yesterday and he's here tonight in Brussels come on he's here tonight in Brussels he's right here and he's already touching people he was here before you got here he's been looking forward to this night because you may know Jesus but when he heals you and delivers you then you know him not only as savior but as healer come on as provider come on as a deliverer that's when Jesus becomes real to us come on shout hallelujah when you've been touched by God you'll be like the blind man he said who opened your eyes he said I do not know and then Jesus later introduced himself then the man worshipped him and followed him see when Jesus touches us he becomes real he's not just a story he's not just something that we do in church but he is a real individual 
And he is here tonight. Come on, he is here tonight. Come on, he is here tonight. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up and say this with me. Jesus, I love you. I love you with all my heart. Jesus, I believe in you. Thank you for coming tonight. I place my need into your hands. Jesus, I put my life into your hands. Thank you for healing me tonight. Making me whole. Restoring my strength. And I give you praise. For you are the healer of all men. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, here's what we want to do tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you have back problems? Yes. Okay, stand up here. Now I don't know that, but God knows that. Now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command all of this pain, the reason for this back problem, I command you in Jesus' name, come out right now, loose her in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on somebody, shout hallelujah. 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 Now if you are here tonight and you have a terminal disease, if you're here tonight, you have a disease that you are dying from. Vous êtes en train de mourir de cette maladie. I want to pray for you tonight. Je voudrais prier pour vous ce soir. Come on, is there anybody in here that has like cancer? Quelqu'un ici qui a le cancer? Leukemias? La le leucémie? Or anything of that nature? Ou quelque chose de cette nature? Come on, any anybody? Y a personne? Non? Okay, praise God. All righty. The next thing I want to do, what? You? All right, please. If, if you have it, come up. Si tu as bien. I'm sick since more than 15 years. Et tu veux dire qu'ils connaissent pas la maladie que tu as Ils connaissent mm -hmm. Mais j'ai dit que je ne suis pas prête à, à accepter les résultats. Ah, she's saying that she has made a lot of exams, yeah. the colon. Mm -hmm. yeah. The colon, thank you. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, she's afraid of the results. She's not ready to accept the result that they are going to give to her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, now, does she have any pain in her stomach or anything now? Is there right now? Okay. In the name of Jesus, I curse this right now. I curse God, the reason of all this pain in her body. God, I loose a miracle into the colon for it to be cleansed. And I command the cause of this pain to come out right now. Let her go in Jesus' name. Now tell her to feel for the pain. Tell me what you got. No, she doesn't feel it. She has no more pain? No. No, she it's uh, not as strong as it was. Okay. Now you tell her to go. 
quand tu vas aller, Don't worry about any test results. Ne pas des des tests. They'll come back negative. Euh, ce sera and she's not going to have any more of this Et stomach and bowel problem. Okay? Hallelujah. There you go. Praise God. Is there anyone else? Okay, hallelujah. Now here's what we want to do. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for everybody. And so I'm just going to ask you to make a line. And then we're going to stretch it across the front. And then somebody's going to ask you what's wrong with you. You're going to tell them one thing. The reason is that everything produces after its own kind. So if you say you're deaf, Alors si vous dites que vous êtes sourd, and God opens your deaf ear, et Dieu ouvre vos oreilles, that healing will reproduce itself all cette, through the human body. Cette, uh, cette guérison va se reproduire dans le, le corps. See, I don't need to know everything that's wrong with you. As soon as healing takes place in one part of your body, it will begin to reproduce itself. Isn't that what sickness does? Absolutely. God's power and healing is more powerful than sickness. La puissance de Dieu est beaucoup plus puissante que la maladie. It's kind of like a cold comme would turn into congestion. Un rhume qui devient maintenant une congestion. Congestion would turn into pneumonia. Et la congestion devient une pneumonie. But if you got healed, Mais si vous êtes guéri, pneumonia would disappear, la pneumonie va disparaître, the congestion would disappear, la congestion va disparaître, and the cold would disappear. Et le rhume aussi va disparaître. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's the same way that healing takes place. Cette même manière que la guérison It's just guérison. like when you're saved. Comme quand vous êtes sauvé. Sins start falling off. Le, le péché commence à tomber. Because eternal life is becoming Amen. Hallelujah. All righty. Line up. Right. Praise God. Come on. Hallelujah. Everybody, right 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 come on. Hallelujah. Everybody, come on. Hold it up. Eric, you have an interpreter? Okay. All right. Spectrum, okay. Let her go. 
Oh, God, for your glory. Come out! Now, God, I lose 